Welcome to video NB13, subtracting in a different number base. Here's the problem. Everything's written in base 5. 310 minus 42, and I want the answer in base 5. Again, if you want, you can convert everything to base 10, subtract in base 10, and then convert back to base 5 but I'm going to show you the quicker method, staying in ba base 5. And again, in my head, I'll be going, uh, thinking initially of base 10 and then converting it. The one thing with subtracting is you've got to remember sometimes you need to borrow, and that's where it gets confusing. Okay, right off the bat, I've got 0 minus 2, I need to borrow. So what I do is I cross this out, and I put this here. However, let me put that in quotation marks. That is not 10. You're so used to that. That is 1, 0 in base 5. And what, just to let you know, 1, 0 in base 5 is the equivalent of 5 in base 10. So I'm going to think of this as a 5. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And that's the same in base 5, base 10, etc. Over here, again I've got to borrow. So I'm going to cross this out, put this here, put that there. Again, that's not a 10, that's a 1, 0 in base 5, and that's equivalent to a 5. So 5 minus 4 is 1. And then this 2 minus 0 is just 2. I'm done. The confusing part is you're so used to that being a 10 that you've got to start um, thinking in terms of other bases. So there you have it. How to subtract in a different number base and uh, remembering how to borrow in a different number base.